Don't let this happen to you. With a Ring floodlight camera, you can receive alerts when somebody's trying to break into your house. You can then manually turn on an alarm to scare them off, or you can turn your speaker on to tell them you're going to be calling the police. Hey, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you how to install a Ring floodlight camera that's wired to regular hard wiring in your house. In addition, it even has a two-way top radio and color night vision, which is pretty darn cool. I installed this exact same one on my son's house, and it is absolutely amazing what he has detected on it. He, uh, one of his roommate's cars got hit. He saw it right in front of his house. Uh, a branch from the neighboring palm tree blew off and landed on the hood of his, one of his roommate's cars. You got that on video? It's absolutely amazing how clear it is and how well the motion sensor works. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pull it apart right here. And there she is. Get your got a little screwdriver. It's kind of cool. Get your user's guide. And we have a mounting bracket with three wire nuts. And you have an assortment of different screws because everybody's little, uh, oh the electrical box that you install it in a mounting bracket it's going to have different threads so it's uh, perfect you have you've got options there excellent all right let's go ahead and take this out Oops. one thing i wanted to point out here that's i think is an absolutely awesome invention so just picture this when i install this i'm putting it above my doorway it's about 12 feet high and I'm going to be up on the top of a ladder having to hold this right while I'm hooking up the wiring at the same time well instead I mount this onto an electrical box right and I take this little black this plastic hook and I just Hook it right on there, just like that. All right, so picture now I can work with my two hands, work with the wires. I don't have to touch this, it's being supported. This is such a great invention. So, you know, there you have it. Looks pretty simple. I'm gonna go ahead and hook this up. I've mounted a, a plastic junction box, electrical box, onto a board with some wiring. I'm gonna go ahead and do a demo and, and hook it all up so you can see close up. All right, there's our setup. Here's our electrical junction box. That's gonna be on the wall with a floodlight. It's gonna be installed. And this is the piece. It's gonna go like that. There's a little sign. Oh, it says up the arrow. So you know you go in the correct direction. And so this is the tricky part. So you can see there are the holes are at an angle, like a 45 degree angle. So somehow this has got a mount on there. So you got to figure out how to do that. And that is where this comes into play. So we're going to pull this out. So this is going to be mounting in that direction. And this is going to be going right in the center. Like that. All right. That's a pretty cool design. It's nice to have all these labels as well. Look at that. A through G. Let's grab one B right there. Okay. Double check, make sure it fits nicely. Yep, it does. Let's check. All right, so first, that needs to go on. So we need five, some short ones to be fine. Let's see, the shortest ones they have are A, right there. There, actually, I guess. So 
You can see where the screwdriver comes in handy. Assuming you don't have your own screwdriver. Whew, snug. There go. You can use either screw, it doesn't matter. Excuse me, either screw hole. Is that little one? Is that the D? Okay. Hmm. All right. Here we go. Get in there. Secure. That's good. Now, again, this is up. Put that right over there. There we go. Let's see if that fits. and secure perfect now this is where that little black piece comes in really handy so let's go ahead I'm gonna go ahead excuse me for one second so it's simulating hanging off the edge of the wall so there we go, we'll take this that black little piece there. We're just gonna hang it right there. There we go. Just like that. It's gonna end up going. This is gonna be rotated down like that. Camera. Alright. Got three wires. All right, gonna wait. White to white. That one. I want to twist it clockwise, which will be the same way you're gonna be twisting the wing nuts. And you want to get a little spin to it there. All right, electrical nut. If there's a little extra, like you can probably see that right there, I'm gonna wrap some tape around that, some black electrical tape. Right, go. You know, because this is a 12 gauge wire, it's very, very thick. It doesn't bend much, so I'm just gonna go ahead. Put that on. Okay. Like that. And then we got the green. 
It goes straight to the ground. And this is all, this box is all plastic, so there's no reason to put any ground to a plastic box. Let's go straight to the ground wire. If you find this video helpful, please press the subscribe button. Thank you. Okay. Oh, electrical wing net here. There we go. All right, we're actually cruising right along here. Okay, there we go. There's three little white plastic nuts there. I guess they gave you a spare. That's kind of nice. Take two out, leave one in the bag. There we go. Let's go ahead and push these wires back in. All right, that's a black electrical tape. I don't know if you can see, but there's some exposed wire right there. That would be a problem if somehow they actually touch together. So I'm going to pull. Gonna put it around just like that. Okay. All right. That one piece. The ground is not a big deal. So I'm going to and leave that. Obviously it's not being at all because there's exposed ground wire anyhow. So now we want to push it back into the wall. Like that. Yeah. Goes in the wall. And just going to lift this up. Slide. Okay. Slide it right over those two holes. Just like that. Take the little white nuts. I'm going to lift that up a little bit. Screw that on. Up. Second plastic little light. I have a little bit. Put that on like that. All right. I wanted to share with you another way of securing that white decorative nut. That orange plastic screwdriver they provide, you can remove the bit out of it and you can see the hexagonal design there at the end or shape. You push the nut in there or you push the screwdriver over the nut and you can tighten it. Let's go down like that. I'll pull the plastic off. Just like that. So now that's, I mean, that's, that's installed just like that. So we go ahead and tip it up so you can see what it looks like. So we just there you go. There's the installed unit. Obviously, I have to uh, flip the power on, the breaker back on, and then we have to sync this with the, the Ring app. But that it looks like. I'll show you the back side as well. It is obviously the wall would be right here this whole blue electrical box would be inside of your wall there it is so tomorrow I'm gonna go ahead and install this all right let's go ahead and turn the power on there we go and in a minute it's supposed to make a like a music sound if it's hooked up properly. That means it's ready for programming with the Ring app. I'll just wait a moment here. Let's see if it makes... There we go. Made the noise. It's got power, it's hooked up properly. All I need to do is cock it and around the edges. Oh, I can even see the, I don't know if you can see that blue light flashing. Oops, see the blue light flashing right there. 
I'm going to show you how to set up the Ring app on your phone and connect it to your Ring floodlight camera. Now, obviously, the first thing you need to do is download the Ring app. Once the app is downloaded, just go ahead and press the Ring icon. Then you're going to scroll down to set up a device right there at the bottom of the screen. And then you're going to select the type. And that would be a security camera right there. And then you're going to go ahead and get your manual out. And there's this tiny little QR code on the man, one of the pages. And you're going to get your phone. You're going to click on your camera icon, open it up. And you're just going to hold your camera over there. And as soon as it detects even the slightest in the corner of the screen, when it detects that, it'll pick it up and it'll detect your device. So here we go. There we go. You can see it turned green. That means it found it. And then add it. All right, so the next step here, where would you like to set up your floodlight cam? Now, I've already entered my address here because I have a ring doorbell. And so you can either keep your address or you can add a new location and press continue. Actually, see what happens. Continue, create a new location, Okay, so I'm going to go back. I already have an address there. Select Continue. Give your floodlight cam a name. So I'm going to do Custom. Let's call it Studio Entrance. There you go. Plus Done. Continue. Remove the protective film. I've removed the protective film. Press that button. Has your floodlight cam been installed? It's been installed. Next, grab your Wi-Fi password. I've got that ready. Wait for the floodlight cam to enter setup mode, meaning the light is flashing, as I showed you earlier. All right, it's connecting to your floodlight cam. That's good news. Is the flood? Excuse me. Is the light on the bottom of the floodlight cam flashing? It is flashing. When prompted, connect to the Ring Wi-Fi network. Got it. All right, they want to. Ring wants to connect. Ring setup 21. Join. It is connecting to your floodlight cam. Okay, so the reason why it says unable to, because it's already I already connected it. So at this point, it would just say, you know, it's all good, and then it'll have you enter your Wi-Fi password, and you'd be up and running. If you found this video helpful, please press the subscribe and like button. Thank you.